Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many AWS users encounter. How do you delete a folder and all its contents in an AWS bucket using Boto3? Our viewer points out that the documentation can be a bit confusing, especially since the key concept isn't clearly defined in the Boto3 sections, but rather in Boto2 examples. So if you're dealing with a folder that contains more than a thousand files, what's the best way to efficiently delete everything inside? Let's break it down together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To delete a folder and its contents in an AWS S3 bucket using Boto3, we first need to understand how S3 organizes data. S3 uses a flat structure, but we can simulate folders using prefixes. Next, we will use the Boto3 library to list all the objects in the specified folder. This is done using the list objects v2 method, where we specify the bucket name and the prefix. Once we have the list of objects, we can iterate through them and delete each one using the delete objects method. This method allows us to delete multiple objects in a single request. Finally, we can wrap this logic in a function to make it reusable. This function will take the bucket name and folder name as parameters. And that's it. You now have a flexible way to delete a folder and its contents in an AWS S3 bucket using Boto3, even if there are more than a thousand files. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. Deleting a folder and its contents in an AWS S3 bucket isn't straightforward. Folders are just imaginary constructs, not actual resources. To delete contents, you can use delete requests, but they are limited to thousand objects at a time. Alternatively, you can set a lifecycle policy to delete objects with a specific key prefix after a certain number of days. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.